Rabbis Harsh here from Shout Me Loud and today I'm going to help you save some money and this video is for the Aweber users so it's a good news for many of you and bad news for many of you so I am shifting my email marketing service from Aweber to ConvertKit and I'm making this change because features that that is offered by Aweber is quite old and they have not added many new features which I'll be talking in the upcoming videos and one of them is segmenting and that will make your email marketing works pretty solid. I'll talk about all those things later but today this video is for all existing Aweber user and this will help you to save money. How? So one thing which you should know as an Aweber customer is even a person so unsubscribed to your email newsletter Aweber does not delete them from the list. So the user stays as unsubscribed and it also count towards your list count. So if you know that Aweber have like the Aweber pricing is they charge you based on the number of users in your list. And imagine like, you know, I have unsubscribed to your email list and I'm still there on the list. It does not make any sense, right? So one way is like you can simply go to your list, click on unsubscribe and delete all the deactivated user. So that's one way. Second, today what I'm going to talk about is how you can remove, find all those subscribers who are not engaging with your list and how can you remove them? Typically what we do is like we try to re-engage with them with different methods. We try to send them more lucrative offers, send them uh, offer that will help them to click open the newsletter and then we see what interests them and then we segment them accordingly and then set the email newsletter. So I'll show you all about uh, all those in the upcoming videos. But in this videos, let me show you how you can find people who are not engaging with your uh, email. So typically people who are not who have not opened your email from last five to six months, I think it's a pretty good time to uh, realize that those people are very inactive, maybe not interested in your email list. And why I'm doing this right now, it's because I'm moving all my subscriber from Aweber to ConvertKit. Uh, I want to get rid of people who are not interacting with my email newsletter. There's no point having them on the email newsletter, right? And it will also lower down the Aweber fees for you. So let's, I'll show you how to do that. So, you know, select the list that you want to work with and then click on s subscriber and manage subscribers. Now here in the filters, you need to select no opens since, uh, so this is May, let me select January 1st. I think like it's good five months. And one thing which is uh, important is date added. It should be before, uh, you know, the above date. So let me add it to January 1, 2016. And I have a list of about 17,000. And let's say I, I think like four to 5,000. So yeah, 4,200 people are inactive, which is pretty, pretty huge number. So one thing which you want to do is like you export the CSV so that, you know, you can import them to any other email service, maybe the one which is free and try to re-engage with them. Uh, so this is what I have done now after this, like let's just increase the view to 100 and let's do some cleaning. Yep. So this would take about uh, two minutes for me to get rid of all these people. And once that is done, you know, uh, you'll be saving a lot of money depending upon the kind of list that you have. Uh, money save is money earned. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming video, I'll share more tips, more uh, tips on how you can import, export your Aweber list and import it to any other email service. In my case, I'll be importing it to ConvertKit. And if you like to check out the ConvertKit, I have the link in the description. And you might, I think you might like it. It's only $29 to start with and it's pretty solid. I have a few posts coming up about ConvertKit on Shout Me Loud. So don't forget to check that out. For now, bye-bye. This is Harsh.